Welcome to my Cardinal. I'm going to do a couple of things a little bit different today. I've observed that a lot of videos don't show what happens on the, to the yoke while you're flying. And it's uh, a little bit windy today. It might be a little bit gusty. We'll see. thought maybe I'd let you watch what I'm doing instead of just out the window. It looks so easy out the window, you know. I actually see what the yoke is doing, maybe my, what my legs are doing. That might be interesting. And secondly, I've got a second camera here that uh, I think will help us watch the radios a little bit more closely. So it's a bit of an experiment. I hope it doesn't uh, jitter too much. We'll see how that goes. So right now, we're going to uh, set up for an approach back into the same airport. Uh, we'll hit the procedure button, do the uh, r 9 9 and then I'm going to do, I think, vectors Simmons. I'm going to go Simmons direct. So we have got our route of flight here. And uh, with that, I shall taxi down and do a run up, and uh, then we'll go. The wind is out of the west today, so we're going to be taking off into the sun. And we double check. Two, 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 two. Lights are on, cow flaps open, gears down. All good things. And then off we go. Cast zero, so we keep the pop departing. Two, seven. Stay in the air, cast zero. All right, watch your flaps. Mixture rich. Now we have a left crosswind today. So I expect that I will be dialing in some left aileron pretty quick. Here we go. Left aileron in for the wind. Keep it straight with the rudders. When it pops off, we go into a crab. I can't make the runway, I gear up. Seventy-five knot climb. A little gusty, so I might let that roll up a little bit. Once the gear's safely up, I can uh, Roll back my RPM to uh, top of the green, 2500. And I can pull the mixture back to my uh, in route cruise, cruise climb, which is 10.2, uh, and then I can flaps up. So we are airborne and flying. So just to review, we're in heading altitude mode. The little green airplane here is putting itself, parked itself right on top of Kite there. And that's where we want to go is Kite. It might overcorrect a little bit to try and get us back on the inbound uh, published course. We are from Kite right now, four nautical miles. And we'll be there in two minutes. And when we arrive there, it says we'll have 34 gallons of fuel on board. So we can see they're coming into Kite here. Here comes Kite. And our route should change from um, from dotted there is our planned route to um, our, our current leg as we pass it there. Yep, there we go. The little green airplane is, um, is pointing to Hopper. I'm now in nav approach altitude glide slope mode. So we've got a glide slope. We've got a localizer. It matches the one that's on my Aspen over here. I'm going to slow down a little bit. I'm at uh, 125 knots here, so I'm going to slow down, put in a notch of flaps to sort of stabilize this a little bit, make it more of a realistic approach. We have glide slope across right about now. And glide slope is armed, so it should capture as it goes. There it is. Capture the glide slope. Point the nose down, so I'm going to pull a little more power. Just to help that a little bit. So once again, we've got the little green airplane target over on top of the approach course. I can 
zoom out a little bit, we can see it a bit better beside the localizer. The glide slope and localizer are dead nuts on. Put our 10 knots down. Casadero, 7 key to pop. We're, um, well, let's see, 7 miles west inbound, 2-7 for a low approach on the GPS approach. Watching my airspeed and adjusting the power just a little bit to keep it around. Uh, actually, I'd like to do it around 95 knots, about 110 right now. So it sees us uh, adjusting back a little bit as a localizer signal. It's a, what do you call it, on an LNAV plus V. It's still a localizer, not quite, but left right needle. <laughs> course, there we go, the course needle. It's holding the glide slope real well. Tiny bit low, but it's correcting. Leg and now it says. So once again, we'll see the dotted line go magenta. That's our new leg. We can see it down here. We can also see our missed approach course there. If we don't make it down. So we're at 2,200 feet here. That's 1,500 feet off the ground, roughly. And uh, we can follow the magenta line here to 1,000 feet. After a thousand feet, it's going to take away our magenta line. We have to do it the good old-fashioned way from there on down. Zoom in just a little bit more here so we can watch the airplane. We see the wind correction angle here, and we see it here with the green airplane being offset. It's holding it right on the airport. We see the uh, thousand-foot yellow marking start to come in on the bottom one and also on the top one. And uh, right about there is where it's going to, I believe, turn off my my uh, magenta line. It doesn't want to doesn't want you to follow that line to the ground. Tempting though it may be. So we're on glide slope. We're on the left, right. There is a pretty good wind out here. So we're in. Your traffic chaser two five one two Papa, departing runway two seven North Grass, close traffic. I'm actually on the approach right now. Would you mind waiting um, just about two, uh, about a minute for me to finish the approach at Casadero? Welcome. Thank you. I sure appreciate that. And I'm just going to do a low, low approach here, and then I'll be out of your way. Okay, the glide slope's correcting down. Localizer's looking pretty good. You can see the airport, of course, coming up on the uh, on the top camera. Five knots. Uh, we're uh, uh, we should be we'd be popping out here now. We're about two, three hundred feet past where minimums will be on this approach. But we can see how it does it. That's what it takes us down to, right there. So, how's that? Okay, Pacer, it's all yours. Thanks for uh, giving me a minute there. And turning final, 2-7, Castillo, sorry, the pop. So people have asked me what my numbers are in final. I'm right now at 75 knots. And uh, I'm not going to want to go much slower than that. I got a green. Prop and mixture are in. There's 73 knots. Got a wheel out the left. I'm letting it drift a little bit. There's 72 knots. Power off. Not exactly a center line landing. <laughs> but, you know, it worked. And it was a smidgen flat, too, I must say. But that's how it looks when I do it most of the time. Except sometimes it's a greaser. You always love those Casio. days. Casio, traffic pacer 2152 Papa, left base, runway 27 North Grass.